Alright, so Max. Season 2, Episode 4. Apparently, based on the best selling animal brain musings of noted aliens made all our stuff theorist Eric Von Danny O'Day. Fair enough. Alright, well, last time we became undead, became un un undead. I, uh, you know, things went good. Good, for sure. Things went very, uh, very well. So now that we've undeaded ourselves, uh, surely nothing, uh, nothing, nothing else is gonna happen. Alright, episode four, Chariots of the Dogs. Bosco has vanished from the face of the earth. Yes, we got interrupted at the end by, uh, Flint Paper, who was not dead, just merely knocked out, uh, barging in to be like, Bosco is missing. So he's vanished from the face of the earth, literally, when Sam and Max managed to track him down, what they find is so mind-boggling, you'll have to see it to believe it. Can the freelance police set things right, or will life as they know it fall victim to the Precious whims of T H E M. All right. Sure, I have H or have. All announced. All right, let's jump into episode four. Okay, we're in, boys. Bosco! Free anti-mind control helmets for the first 50 lunatics to come out of hiding! I've been telling you, little pals. He's just plain vanished. We'd better look around the joint for clues. Good plan, Samo. Guess that's why they call you guys in for the brainy stuff. And leave the senseless violence to the likes of me. Oh, yeah. I deeply resent that comment, Mr. Paper. Yeah, Flynn. <laughs> We're gonna have to join together and use every detective skill we know to find Bosco. Well, that's a no-go. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. Absolutely no thinking here. Get that plush. Alright, I'm gonna have to pause again briefly, just to get that up. All right, senseless violence is. I enjoy senseless violence. Better not. Oh, I'm lighting up the joint doing I don't that. I want to shoot my little buddy. I want to shoot my little buddy. All right, senseless violence. All right, alley foil. <laughs> hmm. For T H E M. All right. I've Can I finally? Yes. Bosco yes. Hidden back here. Behind the I've counter. I've always wondered if he's wearing pants back there. Tiny Moai it's head. It's Bosco's my first Moai head toy. Heck yeah. Wow, it's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew! I'd kill for a time machine right about now. Of course, I'd kill for just about anything. That's true. This key must control the laser grid blocking Ooh. Bosco's bathroom. Oh, use it to spell boobies. I love that. Boobies, Bosco, boobies. lasers, and pushing random buttons are three things that don't go well together, little buddy. Wait, wait, wait. That says... It says the code is in my head. We better find it soon, then. It must be getting lonely. Well, I do like a code in the head. My first Moai head. And hopefully my last. Uh, okay, I think I know what I have to do with that. But anything else I can see back here? Doesn't look like it. All right, hop back over. I'm going to turn it down a smidgen. A little loud. That's so fair, but there is an x-ray machine. 
All right. Let's have a look at your x-ray, Mr. Moaihead. We'll see what's causing that persistent tinnitus. Prognosis, Sam? Either this toy has a tumor the size of an overfed cat, or it's too dark to read it. Hmm. Ah, right. So I got the x-ray, so now I have to put the x-ray on the x-ray viewer board. You got it. Which I shot at earlier. Hmm. It looks like... Movies. It looks like Bosco's as clever as you are at cutting edge intellectual humor. <laughs> you gotta admit, that is pretty funny. Oh, we do know the code now. It's boobies. Oh, I won't let me put it in myself. You did it, Sammo. Boobies, Let's check in the boobies. For more clues. The fact that it is boobies is. Uh, amazing. It's great. <laughs> Alright, into the bathroom. We never get to see what's in here. We just have Max go inside and, you know, fart. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom to tell us where Bosco's top secret bunker is. Or maybe the bathroom is his top secret bunker. This is exactly where I'd want to spend an apocalypse. I sense that something terrible happened here. Ho ho, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> he minusized Bosco shirts. has all his shirts specially treated to block out the thought control rays. Less nefarious forces take control of his nipples. Para... Paranoia... Paranoia act. Well, survival kits. Bosco Tech the Plunger. Bosco Tech Drain Liberator 6000. <clears throat> I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Not after seeing what it did to that sludgy delivery <laughs> guy. The oh sound boy. alone still haunts my nightmares. Badang. Oh, what's in the stall door? Hot toilet wine. Everything Bosco would need to survive for months. Wow. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley. Woof. Nippy Valley woof. woof. Or putty time or <laughs> any time. Some idiot left the cork out, Max. It turned to vinegar. <gasps> vinegar, you say? I'm pretty sure I can hold it until the end of the case. Maybe. Maybe sure. If you explode it, E H E Y. If you explode it, they will come. And will if come. it's brown, flush it down. Bosco's disguises, hey. each more offensively ludicrous than the last. There we go. Baking soda, Baking plus, soda vinegar. plus vinegar equals eruption. Sounds hot, but they didn't leave a phone number. Well, there's some Bosco baking soda. Bosco keeps plenty of baking soda on hand to keep the bathroom fresh. Rampaging Roy Neary with a meat and two sides. Recognize that from Easter Island? Nah, it's, it's fine. a lava volcano. I'd say it's downright exemplary. It sure is. Not big enough. Bigger. Ugh, oh, sheesh. Even bathrooms aren't safe from natural <laughs> nail enhancement spam. Oh, terrible. All right. Well, I guess we can uh, we can have a little go in the model volcano. Put in, put in some vinegar. It's like I'm always telling you, Sam. We need a much bigger explosion. This time, you might be right, Max. Max is right all the time. All right, let's get some more baking soda. Bosco's high-tech 100% convincing disguise kit. Sure. So, which kit was he using last year? <laughs> Harsh, Max. All right, well, I think uh, I think we know what we can explode that might be a bit better than a volcano. If I can get past no Max, Max. Yeah. Max. Out of the way, Max. Nuh-uh. No? Urinal? No siree. Nothing doing. I have to explode something here, buddy. I'm pretty sure I can hold it until the end of the case. Pretty sure. Okay, how about... Can I finally get to shoot something? What was that for, Sam? That barrel Aha! was looking at me funny. There we go. I don't explode the toilet. Red herring. I explode a barrel. And the school board said our cases had no educational merit. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, oh. What's that noise? Aliens! We're 
we're going to space again. They've come for us, Max. It's T H E M. Good. About time we found out who's responsible for this travesty. I'm not doing this left-handed. Bam! Bam! Let me shoot more things! Yeah! The game finally let me shoot a thing. It was just a barrel of baking soda, but it was finally a thing! Can explain. Did no. you need a haircut, Bosco? There's something different. Finally, see a doctor about that uh, personal problem. You guys done? <laughs> yeah, that's all we got. Good. Now shut up and help me. What seems to be the problem, Bessie? That uh, that elevator over there. It's horrible. I went inside looking for T H E M, but when I got out, I saw my mother. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. I ran out of there fast as I could, and when I came out, I was like this. You gotta fix it, guys. Well? What are you doing on an alien spaceship? I got tired of being scared of T-H-E-M. I finally said, bring them on. And I that was foolish. Let me predict where they were gonna show up next. Then I let them come on and take me. So, did you get udders, or are you a boy cow? That's none of our business, Max. <laughs> what happened next, Bosco? That's true. I used Sound the is correct. On myself, it's none of our you know, business. To it. After that, huh, it's all a blur. Did get others, though. All right, where's that where's detector device? Where's this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after I got turned into this thing. All right, where are we? Where is this place, Bosco? You guys still don't get it? This is it. The center of the entire operation of T-H-E-M! Kinda sparse for the headquarters of a sinister cabal bent on world domination. You don't need much room when you can go anywhere you want through time and space. I... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. Where are the aliens? The place seems pretty empty. Where are T-H-E-Y hanging out? I don't know. But you can bet they're around here somewhere. Just waiting to probe us and turn us all into freakish animal-human hybrids! Bosco, Sam is standing right here. <laughs> What's with all the volcanoes back in your store? Guys, guys, try to keep up. Haven't you figured anything out yet? No. Nope. The volcano is what summons the spaceship, fools. Sam, is it my imagination, or are we being scolded by the guy who's half cow? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's fair. Don't go anywhere, Bosco. Now, where am I gonna go looking like this? Help me get back to normal, guys. Uh, Normal? Uh, <laughs> we'll get you back the way you were before, but uh, <laughs> we're not promising more than that. That's true. Definitely don't promise more than that. Hello, speaker Looks device. Looks like some kind of weird alien radio. Central device, hello. Hey, Max, what do you think this thing is? Calibrating. Complete. I now have mastered your primitive but no less valid language. No, Please choose from the following less valid. of conversation. Hi. Uh, system identification. Who are you? I am this craft's artificial <laughs> intelligence. I love this. I supervise the operations of this craft and the activities of its crew. There are own identification. The crew? They are currently occupied with the craft's primary mission. They will arrive shortly to detain you for your own safety. Sure, sure, uh-huh, absolutely. What happened to Bosco? The intruder made unsanctioned use oh, of the time shuttle. Time shuttle? How do we use that elevator? Simply choose a destination. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. Sure. 
What are my options? My personality can be configured oh, heck yeah. to respond yes, in the style yes, most yes, appropriate yes. to the user. Please choose from the following I options. mean, I know what I'm gonna choose. Politically correct, suggestive, abusive, passive aggressive. Uh, passive, passive aggressive. Passive aggressive. Selection acknowledged. I'll just alter my entire personality matrix to make you more comfortable. Yeah, you will. What happened to Bosco? Oh, he just interfered with causality, leaving it for the <laughs> rest of us to clean up. Hmm, all right, print time We'd card. We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. Fair enough. So long. Fine, leave. It's not like I was still talking. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Move! Appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest in mutilated cattle. Don't joke about that! Oh, that's so mean. Button! Button! It's the button. elevator's button. emergency recall button. Fair enough. Time card. Time card. Bosco's time card. We're going to 1963. Whee! Bosco's again? How do we end up back here? Judging from the lack of safety ratings Infant and the ready formula. availability of Ooh. guns and ammo, I'd say we've gone back in time. Seems to be some time in the early sweet mother of mole sauce. You fools gonna buy something, or do you want to make a baby? Well, uh, I would never make a baby. All right, hi, Mama you must Bosco. Be Mrs. Bosco. That's Ms. Bosco. I don't want any part of your oppressive patriarchy. Fair enough, ma'am. Miss, you. Who are you? Sam and Max, freelance police. Finally, the police. Nah. Maybe you can help me catch that fool. Nah. You want to catch? Which fool did you want us to catch exactly? That, that man who just came in here yelling about conspiracies and busting up the place. Bosco always did know how to make a memorable He sure person. does. And then he turned into a cow. Can you tell us more about the man who trashed your shop? He took one look at me and screamed. <laughs> that should narrow the list of suspects down to any man with eyes. Hey, rude. Then he stumbled back and ran right into my baby maker. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. We can't take the case, but we'll keep an eye out for your vandal, Miss Bosco. I swear if I ever find him, I'm going to make sure he gets no pleasure in this life. Well, that's... Aww. I haven't heard a tale of motherly love like that since the Manchurian candidate. Mm-hmm. All right. We're here to help your son. Help your son. I don't have a son. You think it's not enough I'm a businesswoman and inventor? A woman's only useful if she's got a son. It's not that. No. no. We're friends with him. Well, acquaintances. We know him. We've spoken to him more than once. Doesn't matter. I'm not defined by my children. But when I do have one, she's gonna be the most perfect little. <coughs> I'm sure. Just say, make a baby. What was that you said about making a baby? I'm made uncomfortable by this line of questioning, Sam. That's just because you're scared of a world where career minded women don't need to be tied to a man to have a family. This ain't the past anymore. Sure. It's the 1960s. They can talk about putting a person on the moon, and I can invent a baby making machine. Hell yeah. How does this baby-making machine work? You just take a DNA sample from the mother and the other person and combine them in that machine. Let it bake a couple hours and you've got a beautiful baby girl. Or boy, I guess. I've already got my own samples in there. I'm going to test it out tonight after closing. Uh, how do you get the DNA samples? Isn't that obvious? No. <laughs> fools? Well, naturally. <laughs> oh, Horse. Who's the father? Get the father sample. Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion. And when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. Mm. He was polite and didn't say much. Seemed like his spit was as good as anybody else's, so I picked him. Oh, boy. Wonder who that is. See you later, Ms. Bosco. We're gonna pick up some swinging 60s chicks and start a groovy hullabaloo. Men. Cut it out, Max. You don't even like girls. Oh, right, right. <laughs> a problem with women? Nah, just never interested. 
With all the general malice I have to get done in a day, girls are just a huge waste of time. I'm more into the men. I have never been as turned on as I am right now. Oh, uh, gross. What? what? You just never found the right woman, and I never found the right man. Uh oh. Forget the baby maker. Uh oh. Catastrophic temporary <laughs> detected. We done fucked Run away it. with me, Max. My white stallion. Curse my irresistible animal magnetism. Oh no. Well, hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I'm a bad seed. I can't be faithful to just one woman. Oh, I'm enough for at least a dozen women. You dog, you. <laughs> I'm president of the U.S., and you'd make a lousy first lady. You just don't know what you want. I may not be the first, but I'm the <laughs> last lady you'll ever need. Oh, poor Max. Poor Max. Just looking at you repulses me. <laughs> I'm a guy who has a 12-volume scrapbook labeled <clears throat> Things I Have Shed. You can try to push me away, but I know how you really feel. Oh, boy. Max doesn't even like girls. They're a nuisance at best. Hasn't been interested since? When did that start exactly? I think it all goes back to that time we were... No flashback? Mm, okay. Well, it's been ever since junior high. <laughs> Max just isn't that into you. Oh, geez, Sam, show a little tact. What he means to say is, there is absolutely no way, no how, <laughs> I would ever, 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 ever be interested in you until the day the Earth is consumed by the flames of our exploding sun. You say that now. That's true. Max is belligerent, <clears throat> recalcitrant, and quite possibly psychotic. So you're jealous, is that it? Want to keep him all to yourself? Uh, yes, 100%. I never knew you felt this way, Sam. Temporal <laughs> anomaly detected. Shut up. It's not like that. <laughs> Max yeah, it is, and you know it. Oh, I can fix him. You're wasting your time, Miss Bosco. Max just isn't interested. The more he protests, the more I know he's the one. Ah, uh, heck. Well, we done fucked it. Ooh. Hey, Max, remember that old carbon data we got from Sybil last year? Yeah, we gave it to Bosco so he could keep scanning his weenies. <laughs> Looks like he's made some uh, modifications to it. Mm. It's our old carbon data with Bosco's printer attachment. Oh, let's point it at we. No way. We not a weenie. Nope. What was that? It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange numbers. All right, let's have a look at the baby maker. Looks like a weird bread making machine. Don't be silly. That's my baby maker. You take a spit sample from the mother and one from the father, mix them together in that machine, and then out comes a happy little bundle of perfection. Finally, somebody explains how that works. <laughs> That's not the generally agreed upon method. Max. Nobody is explaining to Max how. Uh, hmm, what's this? Oh, babies it's are my made. It's chemical sampler. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. Sure. Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. I already got all I need. This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. Oh, It'll no. It'll have to be replaced. What a waste. What a senseless waste. <laughs> that is a, a, absolutely a, a, a senseless hmm. This sample says Mama Bosco. Don't touch that. I made that sample when my spit was most fertile. All right, so we're going to uh... <clears throat> go in the bathroom. Yep. Ah, wine ball. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley brand vinegar. Ah, oh, some idiot left the cork in. <laughs> it's still wine. Boop. Let's just let that breathe for a few decades, Max. Yeah, we did it to ourselves. Heck yeah. Woohoo. A counting desk. We're better to crunch numbers than in the john. That's that's fair. Oh, the germs look so young. My paws are spotless. No time out needed. 
I'm still fairly sure I can hold it. <laughs> I'm still fairly sure I can hold it. I love this. Mm -hmm. Oh, the siren call of the toilet. Russian <clears throat> sent first woman into space. Soon they'll send all their women into space. All right, so we got a chemical sampler, a time card, uh, the carbon dater to get more time cards, and a cork. All right, let's check out the Oval Office uh, time card. Let's do it. What do you think you're doing? What? You know, the usual. Traveling through time and stuff. I, I like Override, fucking up time. You've caused a catastrophic temporal anomaly. Sure. You're going back to the ship so you can think about what you've done. That's, that's fair. Oh no! <laughs> we made it worse! Just what you did. Sam, what's a catastrophic temporal paradox? That! What the hell did you guys do? Max, when you made Mama Bosco decide not to have a baby, that meant Bosco was never born. Uh oh! But if Bosco was never born, then we never would have gone back to meet Mama Bosco in the first place. <laughs> Neat! Are you fools just gonna stand there explaining everything? Or are you gonna fix me? Uh... Give a guy a cool cow body, and all of a sudden he's the owner of the time stream. Uh... Alright, let's change the central device's, uh... What are my options? Again. My personality can be configured to re Please choose. How about suggestive? suggestive? Oh, that is exactly how I like it. Ah! Goodbye! Oh, I'll see you later. Ah. Whee! Yeah, he's a cow because the milk got into the baby maker, yeah. Alright, uh, let's try the carbon dater. Bosco already scanned himself with this thing. Ah, that's how we got your mama, Bosco. Let's scan that. It printed a time card with Stinky's logo on it. Let's scan Sam. Hmm. It printed out a card with the Intergalactic Freelance Police logo. Sounds intriguingly futuristic. Sure. All right. Let's uh, let's put Sam's in. Put Max's in. All right. Now let's go... let's go to the Oval Office, since that was the first one we got. I do like this episode a lot, and the like, bopping back and forth, uh, throughout time. Look, Sam! It's my summer office! I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long hey, time before the horrific sequence of events that <laughs> led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? No. This will not stand. All right, so we'll look around. A it's true Super Bowl's scout DNA. will keep his merit badges on him at all times. Be prepared. Be very prepared. This far in the past, I assumed the Earth was still flat. That's, that's a fair assumption. Super Bowl, you better sing about war. Cause what is it good for? We'll look at some pictures. I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with a frame. That, that's definitely a reference I don't the get. The country. lady in that picture. It's the official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is no, changing Kapoor. the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. That's fair. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I knew it had to be some first lady, Hi but... There, random secret service I mean, I don't agent. know American presidents. I can presidents. answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Hi, Super Bowl. It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. <clears throat> secret service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before. And there couldn't be another Agent Super Bowl, sir. The code names are unique. Oh, mm. Super Bowl! I get it. 
How long you worked long here, have you buddy? Been working for the White House. Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all you do? Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. Hell That's yeah! That's a lot of work for one man. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. Where's the president? Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. <gasps> and when I said war. national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. We are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam. Our mission is clear. Nuke the commie I think we've seen enough of the war room for one No, life. I love the war yeah, room. you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. Oh, we'll get the song. What do you think of the president? He's the greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. Any gossip? gossip about the president? Extra <clears throat> toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants. Stuff like that. The mm -hmm. president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. Sure, all right. Uh, we need something official? We need your help with something official. What will it be, <coughs> sir? Uh, tour. We'll like a tour of the office. Very well, sir. That's a desk. There's a couch. Another couch is there. A calendar. Some pictures. The wow. door you see behind me is 100% northwestern white pine with an interior flat jam in. That's plenty, thanks. That's a good tour. Uh, narration? We want to hear you narrate a public service announcement. All right. Are your cigarettes killing you? As unbelievable as it might seem, cigarettes made outside the U.S. actually contain chemicals that are addictive <laughs> and possibly even harmful. For your own safety and that of your children, smoke <laughs> only homeland-grown tobacco. The kind doctors recommend for your good health. Now you know. For a better America. <laughs> we want to hear another public service announcement. Do you know how to recognize a communist? Look for the telltale signs. All communists are double-jointed in their necks and elbows to aid them as they steal American secrets. Communists also secrete a brownish, viscous residue from their palms, which can be found on their homes, children, and pets. Now you Oop. know for a better America. All right, well, we want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? Uh, uh, okay. Colostomy bags made of bubble wrap. As much fun to pop as they are to wear. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I'd need a sample of the invention, okay. plus an explanation of what makes it unique. Okay. Just keep guarding that door. I need to patent Gladly, something. Sir. You got it. See, Mama Did you Bosco? see a strange woman in here a while ago? Assertive career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one. Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. Sure, we're time travelers. We came here from the far off future. <laughs> Aren't you amazed and surprised? Isn't that shocking? I've seen a lot of things, sir. It takes a lot to shock me. Oh, really? Uh oh! I bet we could surprise you. Can't be done, sir. I'm imperturbable. Hmm, interesting. We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. Really? Yes. Surprised that you try that one again. It never works. That's true. We're your new sons, and we want to live in your house and raise my children of questionable parentage. And we're both. Axe murderers. I do love my, uh... Mary Goldwater! Questionable Nothing. parentage. It's like I said, sir. I'm not startled easily. Ooh, I'm gonna have to startle that boy. We come from the beginning of the 21st century. In the future, television is delivered through thick cables instead of being sent through the air. Does that not blow your ever-loving mind? Not really, sir. I'm not easily startled. All right, we give up. The man's a rock, Sam. Nice try, sirs. I almost felt my pulse rate increase there. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Hey, Super Bowl, would you mind spitting on this? It's for a science project. Can't, sir. I never spit, unless I'm startled or under extreme distress. Okay, so I have to startle him to, uh, to get his spit. Okay. Ooh, rat hole. If I remember my history correctly, today's the day of the pivotal rap peace accords. We'd better not disturb them. That's that's fair. Alright, so I need to find something I can patent, and I need to find something that will shock him. Okay. 
things to do in Dallas. Lena Cow Drive. All right, let's go. Oh, hello, horrible AI. Just a second. The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. The spaceship. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's go, Stinkies. Woohoo! You two want. It's the one true stinky. Are we glad to see you? Why? <laughs> Still, it's a new person to talk to. Look, Sam, it's us as impressionable preteens. Exceedingly well done. Looks like girl Stinky was telling the truth for once. The gooey molasses tar cake really is an old family recipe. True, stinky, true, hey, stinky. stinky. Are you the parents of those two parasites? No. Well, not exactly. Although we do still have a time machine, <laughs> we completely rule out the possibility. That's gross, Max. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you could. We could we do it. We bring a warning from the future. In about 25 years, you're going to be murdered. Murdered my swollen pancreas. I once wrestled four rabid grizzlies while standing on the back of a rutting alligator while being pelted with karari tipped darts and fighting off a case of irritable bowel syndrome. I'd like to there. meet the man who could murder old Stinky. Hi, I'm Max. <laughs> Honest, Stinky, we're detectives yeah, Max and we've seen do all it. the evidence. You're gonna get off. When, how, and who's going to do it? Well, we don't know exactly. Detectives is really more of a catch-all term for guys sure, with Sure, yeah, absolutely. Your granddaughter did Some it. woman claiming to be your granddaughter has taken over your restaurant. Granddaughter my cleft palate. I never had any children. Really? A cantankerous, misanthropic, hairy old <laughs> cuss like you would be great with kids. Sure would. Hmm, perhaps someday. Yeah, I don't want to rush you, Stinky, but if you're planning kids, you're going to have to get on that pretty quick. Eh. We want to order something. Too bad. We'll take a pan-fried red panda with... What? What? Can't you see? I'm so close to perfecting my gooey Ooh. molasses tar cake. I can't be arsed to cook for you hooligans when i got so much cooking to do. That's... that's fair. Gooey molasses What's tar cake? What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's based on my ancient family recipe. Sure. But my proud knuckle-dragging forefathers never thought to use my secret ingredient. The blood of innocence. Yes. Meg. You're both wrong and you're both stupid. It's the <laughs> one thing no one has ever thought to use before. <laughs> I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can and will eat anything. Oh, and you'd stupid. like that, wouldn't you? To just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. Uh, sh You're just sure. Trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. Oh, okay. We're from the public health board. Almost none of the vermin in this establishment oh. are wearing federally approved hairnets. Truly terrible. Types. Pah, weak and pathetic, the lot of you. You can't even begin to comprehend what I'm doing here. My dishes will challenge the weak and weed out the inferiors like you jelly-jawed lip flappers. Only the strongest will survive. It will be glorious! <laughs> so are you going to show us to our table or what? How are the 80s? How are the 80s treating you, Stinky? What are you two still doing here? Mm -hmm. No animals allowed in my diner. Wow, it's harsh, okay. Dude. We're service animals. <laughs> Could we be seated already? No shirt, no shoes, no service. We're being discriminated against, Sam. Well, sure are. What a thanks jerk. Thanks for the chat, Stinky. I just go away and die. But most of all, thanks for just being you. All right, let's head over to our younger selves. I'm sure this won't go horribly, horribly wrong. Can I borrow that screwdriver? Well, 
As long as you promise to bring it back. Nope. I hate to think what would happen if I had to stop working on computers. Uh, yeah. Uh, sure thing, kid. Hey, hey Sam, Sam, what's what are you working on? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. But we're strangers who have candy and cool guns you can play with. Well, that should be okay. <laughs> I'm working on my new arcade game, Bluster Blaster. Ooh, what's the game? What are you doing with Bluster Blaster? I built him from a kid. Now I'm just working on the AI. Now I remember. You used to be a total nerd, Sam. Hey. Funny, though. All this time we've spent talking to the cops, and you never once mentioned you're the guy who built Bluster Blaster. It just never seemed relevant, I guess. <laughs> never seemed relevant. What's wrong with the video game? It's fine, I guess. But with only a 1 megahertz processor and this 8-bit I.O. adapter, the AI doesn't get enough cycles to... Can the dork lingo, Chubbs. Just give me the recap. <laughs> It'd be easy enough to download a new AI, but I haven't found one that's any good. All right, go play Shouldn't in the street. Shouldn't kids be outside playing or dating or whatnot? Outside? It's 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> when I was your age, I would have set fire to at least four different categories of things by this hour. Nuh-uh. You would have been playing that video game all day, just like he is. Yeah. Don't you sass me, boy. You're lucky that you grew up to be the only one who knows how to use the time machine, kid. <laughs> Aren't you worried you're turning into something of a, well, uh... Dweeb? Doofus? Dorkwad? Who cares? I don't need you guys or anybody else. Max never calls me names. That's right, Poindexter. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather grow up to be as cool as I am? With a boss car and a detective job and a huge gun? No. Oh, would I have to be as fat as you two? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you got lucky, punk. <laughs> don't shoot yourself. There's got to be something more constructive to do than work on this game all night. Well, there is that prom at the school tonight. This year's theme is Summer of Awakening Desire. Uh, lame. 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 Well A smooth kid like you must have dozens of girls wanting to go to the prom with you. Uh. Don't lie to the boy, Sam. No, nah, all the girls are into Max because he's mean to him, And also, he doesn't complain when they dress him up in their doll clothes. Ah, the precious memories. Let's stick to one neurosis at a time, Max. Go meet Don't people. you want to get out and meet more sexy young people your age? No. Yeah, who's got time for that? My video game is so close to perfect. You're amazing! Yeah, we are. Oh, Blaster Blaster, you know me too well. Make good choices, son. Never. Didn't you guys say I could play with your guns? We lied, kid. <laughs> it's a good life lesson. All right, hey, Max. Guy. What are you scamps up to? I'm only playing Bluster Blaster, the newest and best video game ever made, duh! Nice try! <laughs> Shouldn't you kids be doing something constructive? Or at least less nerdy? Absolutely Today, not! I can do anything I want! You do anything you want every day, Max! You're the best! He sure does! What's so great about this video game? Are you kidding? This game is the only thing that really understands me! You rock hard! See what I mean? Wouldn't it be healthier to get your validation from other people? No. People are dumb and they just don't get me. That's fair. You're the greatest. Yeah. See, it's like the game knows what I'm thinking. Heck yeah. Oh, what's going on today? I vaguely remember something very important about this day. What was it? There was my party. Duh. Don't forget that prom and after prom kissing retreat tonight, Max. Boring! Great job! You're getting better! What that prom sounds prom? like a fun and informative time for a young person. Why aren't you there? Couldn't you get a date? Loser! You're the loser, loser! No, you are! <laughs> Jenny Tellerico asked me to go, but I turned her down. She just doesn't get me like Bluster Blaster does. I love Max and Sully himself. He almost dodged it. Wasn't Jenny Tallarico the girl who had a crush on you for years, Max? I don't know. I never noticed. They call her Jenny Tungarico because she'll kiss anybody and she uses her whole mouth. Grody. Ugh, grody. <laughs> Go meet There's girls. Lots of stuff about girls. You'll realize once you take that first step to adulthood. Nah, we're all gross, actually. Bother. I've got everything I need right here. You're the best. 
So we are in Max, largely we do need Max, right, unfortunately, buddy. to be into girls right very briefly. Very. There's just the one song. Oh. As Stinky would say, if you don't like it, go deaf. I haven't recorded the other songs yet. Alright. So I need to get the. An, uh, oh, no, no, no. Grandpa Stinky. Looks like girls. Need to get a chemical sample. It from couldn't hurt Target. to take just a sample. We should have those results for you in about a week, Mr. Cake. Now, turn your head and cough. I can probably... Can I give that to patent it? We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Ball. All right. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Mm, ah, yes, we don't know. We well, recently frozen wombat guano. I can't issue you a patent, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. Oh, come on. How could you possibly know that? I'm a government official, sir. I know these things. I'll need to know the unique ingredient to issue you a patent. Okay, so we need to find out what the unique ingredient is. You got it. All right. All right, let's go back to Bosco's very briefly. Ch just check, uh, Bosco's, uh, Stinkies. Make sure there's nothing else in there. So I just wondered if I could, like, patent that. I can. I just need to find the ingredient for it. All right. Anything else? F plus ingredient, uh, ingredients are reviews, which is very funny. Hello, my display. Check this out. It's from 1963, Ooh, and it's hello. signed by the president, my dearest Maxine. Meet me tonight at Ooh. Stinky's. Wear that dress I like, the one where I can see your holy. I didn't think they knew that word back then. The president's wife wasn't named Maxine. What is this, the Temperance League? Lighten up! Looks like this case has a screw loose. Oh, hello. A loose screw. Well, I know what to do about that. You have a screwdriver. Max, stinky for me. Oh my god, look, Stinky! Yeah, what, what? Somebody's trying to break into your <laughs> display case! <laughs> Real smooth, little buddy. Fucking Max, what a jerk. Alright, so I have the presidential letter, but I'm having an affair. Now, before I go back there again, I want to see if I can get the ingredient. Let's go to the future. Maybe the future will have something. Oh, hi! Look, Sam, more visitors. I don't know how to use a light bulb with that. There, there, Sam. Uh, hi! Hiya, Future Max. Oh, hey, guys. Look, Sam, more visitors for your special day. Special day, heck yeah. Fast versions of ourselves. Nah, I want to keep these shoestrings. That's nice, Sam. This is the future? The future is a baffling potpourri of peculiar sights and odors. Yes, our advanced world must be frightening and confusing to you. Sure, uh, yeah, you absolutely. Slowly, so that your 21st century brains can understand. Sure, mm-hmm. So much in the office has changed. Oh, the wonders I could show the two of you if I wasn't afraid of violating the time stream. Yeah, we're not afraid uh, of that. The time stream's asking for Sure it. is. Well, okay. In the future, we can make phone calls to other people even when we're not at home. <gasps> My wow. God. And our cars now have additional brake lights above the rear seats. <gasps> Scandalous. What about robots? Do we have robot slaves in the future? With lasers? Oh, you uncultivated savages. Man, that's Robots us. are used for controlling our spaceships these days. That's sure a Starfleet symbol right Tron there. Sure, you've heard of the line. Well, of course. Right, Sam? Everybody's heard of that. I can't shoot, Max. <laughs> 
You must have been having a ton of exciting future adventures in space. No, oh, we don't take that many cases anymore. We try to stay mostly around this street and the neighboring shops. Still? But what do you do for fun? If you're not taking cases, what do you guys do? I've become an expert in volcanology, and Sam is... <sighs> well, Sam is in his own world now. Great transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rational 17. <laughs> Booster rocket through the Van Allen belt. I'm in my office. You sure are, buddy. What's wrong with the other me? Oh, he's fine. Mostly. The years add up, though. It's That's fair. It's in my pocket. This should be useful later. Yeah, it will. Do you remember how we cured Bosco of his parentage problems? No. Bosco. Bosco. Oh, he's the guy who invented Skynet, <laughs> isn't he? No. I was hoping I'd be the one who did that. Aww. I don't remember much about that case. Uh, something about spit, wasn't it? Well, I'm glad to see the old freelance police are still in business. Oh, yes, yeah. dear stupid past Sam. But of course, now we're a wholly owned subsidiary oh. of Stinky Corp. Uh oh. What's what's Stinky Corp? What's Stinky Corp? <laughs> Get a load of this, Sam. These yokels have never heard of Stinky Corp. I don't feel like playing darts right now. Yes. Well, anyway, Stinky Corp is the main oh corporation boy. that owns everything in the future. Stinky made enough money from her diner to take over the world? No, no, Cretinous Max. <laughs> from her super adhesive. Cretinous Max, super adhesive. Ah, I just never What's figure this out what I'm Stinky super adhesive. It's hurricane. It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Now it's used for everything from scrapbooking to alien spacecraft. Sure. She's claimed in interviews that it was based on an old family formula. But Sam and I think we figured out the real secret. <gasps> what? It's made from mole men. <gasps> no. Be seeing you. So long. Th that's how we say goodbye in the future. For sure. All right. Let's talk to let's talk to future Sam. Hello, future me. Hi. I can't shoot Max. You Apparently, sure all can. These years of adventuring have taken their toll. I can't use these things together. <laughs> I love that he's saying uh, point click lines. It's very good. Computer. With this bad boy. We'll never need another file cabinet. It says stinky stick tight adhesive, based on an old family recipe. Oh, there we go. Number one throughout the entire galaxy, with secret ingredient vitamin thirteen. It can't be all, all that right. big a secret if it's on the poster. Maybe secrets are different in the future. Hmm, Which it's an obituary from the local paper. Or trophies from our victims. Who'd we get these? <laughs> local mariachi Pedro died this week due to complications from... From what? A perfectly aimed bullet to the evildoer's cold black heart? I can't read the rest. It's too blurry. Gun shot. Gun shot. Ooh, a little volcano. Looks like we kept Bosco's model volcano after all these years. Sure. Is, oh, God, is Leonard still in our cupboard? Leonard? Whee! Whoa. I hate pack rats. I hope Leonard isn't in there. High-tech rats. <laughs> what future dystopia is this? I love high-tech rats. All right, well, we've learned the secret ingredient so we can get a patent. I think it's time to go back to... Oh, can I scan... Actually, can I scan these guys? I mean, I guess they're us, but... I've already scanned Max. Yeah, so we can't, I already even, we can't scan myself. future versions That's of That's how we got here. Yeah. I have to find... Oh, I didn't scan Super Bowl, did I? I need to do that. The old office... Alright, so we've got a few things to do with Super Bowl. Scan him. It printed a time card with our logo on it. Let's uh, show him the president's letter. <laughs> hey! My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your <laughs> and a donkey. Love the prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's diner. 
Stinkies? I can't believe the president would eat at Stinkies. I've lost all respect wow. for the man. Wow, yeah, I know. He would eat Stinkies? All right. Now let's get that sample. Super Bowl. All right, I need a patent right now for that adhesive. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? I'm gonna patent. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. Very well. That'll what ruin everything. We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? A uh, bitumen 13. Bitumen 13. Very well. That seems to check out. That patent grants you exclusive rights Yay, to make market and improve on your invention. This must be just what Thomas Edison felt like. Minus the stealing and time travel, of course. Oh, Sam, you're so naive. All right. Oops. The Oval Office looks the same in our time as it did back in the 60s. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was hoping you'd take that as a challenge from the other first ladies, but you just <laughs> never stepped up to the plate. Ooh. Hang loose, daddy -o. Right on. Yeah, Sam's first lady. Woo! Good going, Sam. I know. The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. I think what I have to do is go back to Stinky's, show him the patent. have to insist that you cease and desist Yay. all future production of Louis Morales' tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. Welcome We're not angry at you for stealing from us. Just <clears throat> very, very disappointed. Oh, Peacock. That recipe's been in my family sure, for centuries. Sure, for sure. The U.S. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. <laughs> the U.S. Patent Office can <laughs> my oh, oh, oh boy. Actually, I don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction. Fine. I'll throw it out. Mm, time stream altered. Mm, mm. I know what to do with that. I don't think it's going to work right now because I have it on the wrong setting, but let's give this AI to Sam. Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. It sure yeah. does have at least that Hello, amount. Kid. This is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. That shot left my defenses wide open. <laughs> this game is really digging me, Sam. I will <laughs> never stop playing. Again, docking procedure. <laughs> it gagged me. I'll change it back. Oh, Mr. Doc, but you'll do better next time. That's better. So, uh, I'm traveling through time, fucking everything up. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. We do know, of course, uh, what the original Bluster Blaster is like. So, if I go ahead and, uh... Oh, actually, before I do that, I am going to go back to Bosco's. Did you not have a Super Bowl spit? Let's find out if Super Bowl is Bosco's daddy. I missed. And Bosco's a cow. Mm, time stream altered. Oh yeah. All right, now let's go home and change that AI. Bosco, you're back to normal. Hello, fool, Mr. President, uh fool. Hi. Hmm. I suspect we got the wrong dad, Max. A little bit, a little bit. Mm. 
Well, let's uh, let's talk to Super Bowl so Bosco. Bosco. Are you feeling like yourself? Nah. Of course, sir. Never better. <laughs> Can't you give us any more details on your father? It's straightforward enough, fool. I was a test tube baby, first in the country. No idea who'd make a spit donation to your mom? No more cracks about my mama, Mr. President, or I'll have to ask you to step outside. <laughs> Don't worry, Bosco. We'll get you back to normal. Thank you, fool. I suggest you hurry. Ugh. Even when he's riding us, he's too polite. It's unnerving. How's life as a paradox treating you, Bosco? I prefer it if I'd been born, sir. Please eh. repair the time stream at your earliest convenience. Eh, I'll think about it. Do you remember any of your mom's biggest turn We do in need it to turn Hard her to off, yes. Down, sir. She was always very contrary. <laughs> she is quite contrary. We'll see you around, Bosco. All right, we have to go here. We have to make you what aggressive. Are my, my personality can please choose. Make you abusive. abusive. There we go. Good choice, moron. Did you come up with that yourself, or did your idiot friend help out? My idiot friend helped me out. So long. Get lost, failure. Her name is definitely Mary. And not Mama. Alright, now we made that abusive. Back to Stinkies. Alright, let's give him the AI now. Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. Oh, my fire! Shut up! I need the gun! <laughs> the game, Sam! <clears throat> Nuh-uh, I made it better. Go back to your name, Grandma! This, like, totally blows now. Let's go to that dance and make the moves on some chicks. But I was going to Penn Station to pick up some power converters. Uh, power Check converters. Nerds. Make sure you check out the snack table, little me. If I remember correctly, the pigs in blankets were decadent. Time still yeah. altered. Jackass. So, Max, feel any different? I feel like it's been too long since the Maxinator taught a little uh, what sweet, sweet love is all about. Uh, so we can pick up some primo early 80s tale, bruh. Gross. Sounds like I'll fix this in post. It's fine. All right, back to Mal Bosco's to at least, you know, make sure Bosco doesn't disappear from the timeline. Well, hello, Miss B. Did it get freaky sexy in here, or is it just you? What'd you do to my Max? <laughs> I fucked him up. I is, destroyed him. What is your Max gonna do to you all night long? Ah! Look at me, Bosco. He's been like this ever since we were kids. Why don't we ditch the pooch so you can give me a special tour of the store? I've been wanting to see what you've got round back. Special? Ah! I thought you were different, Max. I know, me too. That does it. I'm done with all of you men. All right. Temporal anomaly corrected. Jackass. Yay, we fixed it. Woohoo. All right. Well, Bosco will no longer be, uh, you know, cutting and out. We still haven't found the correct dad. It wasn't Super Bowl. So it has to. Yay. Woo. Looks like we did a pretty good job patching up that cigarette burn on the fabric of reality. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's right, ladies. Oh, Come boy. Come up and give Daddy Max time fixers some <laughs> You're a lovably lecherous tool, Max. <laughs> Alright, so if it wasn't... Super Bowl, it has to be someone else here. I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back.
All right. Ooh, envelope. According to that letter, this isn't the only thing the president licked. President licked it, eh? Hmm, okay. Should be plenty of DNA-rich spit left on this envelope. Well, here the we go. It's a very thorough liquor. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll see if the president is, uh... is Bosco's dad. All right, here we go. Open the present sample. Time stream altered. Check as. That's me. No, Bosco is thankfully not his own dad. No. Let's go and check to see if the president. And there we go. President Yay! is Bosco's dad. Bosco's back to his old gruesome self. Dad, took you fools long enough. There, Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess sure, with Sure, sure have. Uh huh. Dangerous? All that stuff we just fixed was your fault. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's go home. How do we get out of here? Uh oh. Dad, they know we're here. Relax, Bosco. You're gonna have a coronary. Yeah, there they're is. probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of wheat. Well, you two go first. Hey, congratulations, Bosco. You're a Kennedy. Crossing 98% complete. Prepare to deliver on my mark. Hi. <gasps> it's it's T-H-E-M. Oh, benvenidos, amigos. <laughs> what are you guys Hi. doing here? I can explain everything quickly and simply. No, that is not our way. Got it. <laughs> Yo soy el mariachi solitario de las tiene one noble line. My people care only for robots and Martian invaders. But for birthdays they say maybe later we don't have the time. <laughs> I come back from the future and pick up young versions of me. In our spaceship, I, 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 we set course through the time stream and feel Gringo's birthdays with glee. No! Por favor, don't freak out if you see Mariachi's extraños. It's just me and Miss Fatos who wish you feliz cumpleaños. Yeah! <laughs> but spaceships like this are expensive. Even more when they travel through time. And singing for birthdays on spec makes us both go dinero. So we took on a contract and that's our new boss to cosign. Mariachi. We take souls of the damned and we send them to places unknown. I don't want to go. To that portal. Ay, 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 ay. Although first we must crush them with gigantic heads made of stone. Oh, I suck. Where they go, we don't know. But it's hard, maybe it's in Zinara. And as long as we still get to sing, no importa nada. When we say adios, so we say that we try not to cry. We were there for your birthday, we'll see you again. When you like. <laughs> Oh, oh, the cowman has had a heart attack. Bosco, no! Oh, well. Begin the soul crouching. So, as I was Hi. saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for one thousand years straight. Help me, Sam and Max! <laughs> Hey, Mariachis, what's up? So, yeah, uh, throughout the other episodes when there's a birthday, these guys show up. Pedro, 
boy, you people from the past are backwards. You think just because I'm mariachi with a big sombrero and mustache, I'm some two-dimensional cultural stereotype? Sure. You're right. I've been insensitive. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. What's your name? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My name really is Pedro. Fair enough. Let Bosco go. You've got to free Bosco, you maniacs. Nothing personal, but we cannot do that. Why we not? were scheduled to pick up two souls in Germany, oh. but we only got the one. Oops. Cowman will fill our quota. Well, if you're delivering trapped souls, where are the cages? Cages? We don't got no cages. We don't have to show you any stinking cages. Sure you we do. keep the souls on that platform, see? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. We'd feel better if you'd give us Bosco's soul back. Oh, don't worry, amigos. I'm watching the whole soul crushing process to make sure he doesn't escape. Hmm. You, you guys are the are bad guys. Evil. Oh, that's not nice. We're not evil. And after we deliver the Cowman's soul, we'll have paid for the spaceship. And then you can quit? Oh, no, senor. There's still so much for us to do with our time machine. So many deep questions. Yep, this guy never had his birthday answer. celebrated, so yes, what? he's coming back in time to celebrate the, everyone's uh, birthdays. Uh, yep. Future. How will I die? I can think of a few ways. And hmm. what is it like at the beginning of time? Okay. Before history was written. We Which saw the obituary, but it did not tell us. Or the egg. Chicken. Egg. Egg. Chicken. See, I must keep on until I find out for sure. Okay, let me just you like. seem like a bad guy, Pete. I told you, Senor Alice. So until I need I to know the how I die, came what came first. first. Okay. You three mariachis look so much alike, it's uncanny. Didn't you hear the song? <laughs> I, I was, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we weren't paying much attention to the song. We were too busy staring at your dingle balls. Gracias, senor. They really tie the room together, no? Oh, sure. What are you doing here? Oh, I keep the eye on the soul crushing process. Como estas, vaca hombre? Help! Muy bueno. I also <laughs> do the IT maintenance and the IT. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, you, you, you like this job? This can't be a satisfying job for you. Don't you want to quit and go away forever? Oh, I got lots to complain about, believe you me. Who gets to be the captain? Pedro. Who gets to listen for the birthdays? Pedro. But who's stuck watching the clock and fixing the time card printer? Pedro. If you don't like your job, why don't you quit? Mm, being alone in here does let me practice the singing. And fixing the printer helps an old man feel useful. Ah, printer, huh? Adios. See you later, guys. Looks like some weird clock. It can take hundreds of years to cross a soul, senor. So <laughs> the time vortex to speed things along. Wow. It says suck. By the looks of this place, somebody's been pushing the hell out of it. Don't be mean, Max. Alright. Ooh, printer. No, I don't have the ink ribbon anymore, no! Some weird alien device that... Oops. <laughs> Not again. Just leave it. Seems like everything on this ship just falls apart these days. Hmm, it looks like some kind of futuristic low-tech printer. It's an ink ribbon for the printer. Please don't touch that. I'll just have to change it again. Ink ribbon, you say? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, can I carbon date the mariachi? The birth dater doesn't work on these guys for some reason. Hey, a portable birthday checker. Pretty clever. How come it doesn't work on you? The mariachi can never have a birthday for Oh no! It is our curse. <laughs> I got a little warped. All right. Sorry, Bosco. Poor Bosco. 
The horror of time-traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. Attempt to enter soul-crushing area. Please acknowledge. Override, Captain Pedro. Arriba, Burro, Chipotle. Voice print match. Bridge override accepted. Mm, I'm gonna have to get rid of him. Those mariachis wouldn't just stand by and let us take Bosco's soul back. Yeah, we should have kept him as Bosco. Like ball. A zebra, but my Mexican friends assure me it's a donkey in zebra clothing. All right. Well, let's go fuck around in time, shall we? Putting course on screen. Hefe's log. We are on course for our most difficult mission yet. Triplets! Keep the time shuttle open for emergencies while I figure out how we tackle this. The most dangerous boss date. Whatever. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. Ooh, hello. It has the embarrassing idol logo and more of those strange numbers. You love strange numbers. Let's go. Well, I guess I could talk to you hey, guys. Mac, which one of the mariachis are you? Oh, yo no soy mariachi. Soy capitán. Capitán. Soy capitán. Soy capitán. The mariachi says he is the captain. Yeah, I think we got that. Thanks. Who are you guys? The uh, salmon. Wait, not the Sam. Yeah, I'm the Sam. You've heard of me? You know who I am? Of course. You're the famous recording star, no? Well, I don't like to brag. But famous? Yes, you. Hmm. No one believed you could have a career with no talent at all. <laughs> but you proved us all wrong. You're a hero wow. to all of us who wish to sing. You must be a great singer if you're the captain. I could escape this two-peso operation and become the greatest singer time has ever known. If only I could ditch this I'm dead sure weight. Could. Rivalry! Now it's getting interesting. All right, everything is going solo. You start a solo career? See, si, but that can never happen as long as we keep singing for the boss days. How will I dig my big break? Hmm. You've got to set Bosco free. Oh no, senor. No one can enter the soul crushing area once the protest has started. The rules, they are very explicit about this. Sure. This is all your fault. You're the ones who killed Bosco. That I is sure ridiculous. Did. Wait. You aren't going to sue, are you? We absolutely you are. scared him to death. It was a pre existing condition. I have the weaknesses. We'll let you go this time, but only because we respect your methods. Where are we going? Where are we going? Amigos, we are on course hasta la madre de todos los cumpleaños. Friends, we are on course for the mother of all birthdays. Sam, you've got to stop encouraging these guys. Look on the screen. Triplets. Hell yeah. And not just any triplets. They all have the same birthday. I mean, that's, that's what triplets are, yes. What's so hard about your mission? Yeah, you just show up, sing, and leave everybody confused. The others sure do. Hate, but the Capitan cannot be so sloppy. It's muy importante that no one notice us or remember that we were ever there for a year at least. Are we still on course? See, si, embarrassing idol and the triplets birthday dead ahead. Permission to stop talking, Captain. Hello. Granted. All right, let's put the, uh, I've got the office. Oh yeah, Super Bowl did give us the office card. An embarrassing idol. I guess let's go to the office first. I mean, you can have fraternal twins. Could have for turtle tri triplets, maybe. I don't actually know if that's a thing. In a gravy boat at the Grand Duchess's bat mitzvah. What disgusting hellhole have we ended up in this time? Looks strangely familiar, like Super Bowl. 
I'm Super not Ball. You can safely ignore me. Done. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing here in our office? Investigating the president's disappearance, sir. So you're back with the Secret Service then? Mm, sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Max wasn't missing. We've been on a case. We got beamed on board a spaceship. Yeah, we That's did. That's ridiculous, sir. Must have been a weather balloon. <laughs> that was no balloon. It was a spaceship. Bosco saw it too. Gas leak. Mass hypnosis. Two abductions on the same street in the same week, and you're going to just try and cover it up? I can neither sure. confirm nor deny a cover-up, sir. All right. How'd you yourself? find out we were missing? There was a rat, sir. Claimed he was de facto owner of this office since your disappearance. Uh -huh. He was quickly taken away for questioning. What a jerk! Wow, it always takes us ages to get rid of Jimmy Two Teeth. We must be slipping, Max. It's All true. this time, I never thought to use rendition. That's your problem. How's the cover-up cover going? going? Very well, sir. Is what I'd say if there was a cover-up, <clears throat> which there isn't. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, totally. Can you help us with our case? What seems to be the problem? Bosco's been abducted. Oh. Easily explained, sir. And he's trapped on a time-traveling spaceship. No, There's he no isn't. such thing as time travel, sir. Sure Look into my isn't. eyes, please. <laughs> what were we talking about? You'd said that Mr. Bosco is having a perfectly rational vacation in Pago Pago. Yes. Uh, no, he's Pago, he's Pago. dead. Hey, look, Max. It's Agent Super Ball. <laughs> you were saying something, sir. Hmm. Uh, I, I can't remember. Can't remember. Very good, sir. We met a guy in Washington who's a dead ringer for you. That would be me, sir. I, that was four years, years ago. ago. You couldn't still look that young without a time machine or something. Clean living, sir. There's no such thing as time machines. Yeah, clean Don't living. Don't you feel better now that you're no longer working for bad guys like Jorgen? Nah. Uh, yes. I enjoy working for the Secret Service. By <laughs> protecting the president. That reminds me, Sam. Can we wrap this case up pretty soon? Nah. I've got a healthcare system and five foreign governments to topple. <laughs> and I'm way behind schedule. Sure, how's the life and kids? Are able to patch things up with Mrs. Superball? Nah. That's a negative, sir. We spoke briefly. It ended Oh, badly. I'm sorry, She Super says Ball. she can't talk to me when I'm emotional like this. That's, that's fair. Don't worry, Superball. Every time life closes one door, it opens another. That thought disgusts and terrifies me. <laughs> that's fair. Did we nope, ask nope. for help Shit. with our case? Which case is that, sir? I, I didn't actually mean to click on that. There's no sign. Of course. Hey, look, Max. <laughs> you were saying something, sir. It is Agent... Uh... Uh, uh, very good, sir. I might as well click on Super that. Ball. We can't seem to avoid it. We sure can't. Hey, I wonder if we scan this one, if it'll give us a... Uh, hmm. Weird. It says I've already it scanned sure it. sure does. That's the same Super Bowl we met over 40 years ago? It sure I is. I need you gracefully, sir. Clean living. He's aging very gracefully. Ooh, Foxy Betty remote. Max, have you been sending Boxy Betty to... Hey. What? Number one dick. Hey, buddy. Oh. Hey. Show us that remote control, would you? Sure. You're gonna need this. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, thanks for the egg. There's nothing good on, or bad on, for that matter. Okay. Hey, our volcano. It's the model volcano that started this whole mess. It was very thoughtful of future us to bring it back as a souvenir. Sure. Stick a cork in it. Yeah, the time loop is very good. Yeah, yeah, stick a cork in it. The future, Max. Time stream altered. Jackass. Now we can't actually open our door or see if Leonard's there. Alright, anything else I would want to do here? I got egg. I think the thing about it is it was right above the volcano. 
Local mariachi Pedro died this week. There we to go. complications from inhaling ink ribbon fumes. What a waste. What a waste. All right, let's go to our other location. There's still one more location we have to get. It's uh, the beginning of time. But I'm not sure how to get there. Howling at that trippy old hunk of moon. Oh, man, that song is even worse than I <laughs> I can't believe I voted for you. Keep it down, Max. We don't want to mess up time any more than we already have. Yeah, we do. You really nailed that high note. Whoa. And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a <laughs> winner. winner. No. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back <coughs> to Mount Rushmore. <coughs> Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us. That's our cue, little buddy. Sick him. Sam and Max. Listen to our words. Hey, look, Sam. Uh, hi. Doppelgangers. Yeah. Hi. Who are you clowns? We're you guys from your distant future. Heed our dire warnings. I always thought I'd be taller. It's what true. What are you guys doing here? Thank you. I mean, we came warnings. Beware warnings. Santa Claus. And Mr. Spatula. And Hugh Bliss. Actually, a lot of people have tried to kill us. This could take a while. Nonsense. Yeah, all those guys are our friends. Uh... Got any questions about your immediate future? Nope. Hmm. Nope, can't think of any. <clears throat> what number am I thinking of right now? 69. That's all? There's nothing you're curious about? We'd rather see it for ourselves. Keeps the mystery in our relationship. <laughs> I came for that contract. Congratulations on your recent embarrassing idol victory. Now hand over that contract. No chance. We need it. But that's supposed to be my contract. I won it fair and square. <laughs> and I helped him cheat. Forget it, clones. That contract is ours. Now take a hike. Hey, hey. We just came to say hello. Somebody's got trouble letting go of the past. I'll be glad when I grow out of that attitude problem. Mm -hmm. All right, well... Hello. Okay, that's done. Let's get out Let's of here. Let's get back to our time machine, Max. Yeah, I've seen more than enough of this place for one lifetime. Time machine? Oh, cool. No! No! Where to, little buddy? Just hit random buttons. No! Well. So, that's bad, right? Yep. <laughs> In the future, we've got our own spaceship! And our own industrious and no doubt completely legally hired crew. Incoming delivery. Entrega entrante. You... jerks! You made us go through the last year and a half all over again! <laughs> Stand aside, decadent future versions of ourselves! Yeah, we've got a very important case to solve here. Hey, I hey. want to ask you something. Hey, pal, I'll ask the questions here. <laughs> oh, all right, go ahead. What is he waiting for? Be patient, Max. It takes a while to think up the right thing to say. Max sure. and I have to get to the moon. How do we get there? Uh, uh, it's, yeah, just drive. Why don't you just drive there? You can't just drive to the moon, Bonehead. Yeah, you can. Sheesh, Sam. Our <laughs> have no respect for plausibility. You need a screwdriver. All right. Where do we get one of those? Uh. Hmm, okay, I guess I have one, but... Okay, we, we've got what one? Luck? We've got one you can use. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, 
Hey, we've got one of those, Sam. <laughs> right, Max. But we need it to get onto Myra's show, remember? <clears throat> oh, right, right, yeah. Who's Myra? But we already told you. We solved that case. Twice! <laughs> I don't trust me for one We did second. solve that case twice. Hmm, okay. Okay, let's talk to Fast Wee! Max here. It's last year's version of Max. I only talked to pa past Sam. Hey buddy, hey, buddy, I've got a question. Ask away. How can we get to the moon again? I did. I. Uh, uh, you TARDIS? need a time traveling phone. Need a TARDIS. All right, where do we get one of those? <clears throat> so uh, I, oh right, oh I, okay, I see, Ask I Ancient see, I see what, yeah, I see what's happening here. <clears throat> what is this place? This is not our beautiful house. How, how did we get here? That doesn't need to be made radioactive. Do I know you? Like a brother. No. Weren't you gonna ask me something? How to get to the moon, for instance. Oh, right. How do we get there? You need to get a clue. Get a clue, right. yeah. Where do we get right. one of those? Where, where do we get a clue? I, I guess we've got a clue, I guess. We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, Sam, don't <clears throat> we have a recording contract? Yeah, but we need it for... Uh, <laughs> yes. Huh, I can't remember. It must be important, or we wouldn't still be carrying it. You kept it so you could bring it to us, right? Sure. Uh -huh, I guess uh -huh. so. Along with that carton of missile pops you promised. Mm -hmm. Don't push it, Max. All right. Here you go. Well done, Sam and Max. That was the last of your quests. Woo! You have scored two hundred and thirty-four out of a possible <clears throat> wow. points. Woo! Aren't you gonna trade us something? Uh, no. Yeah. Here's that screwdriver. Ah, yeah, the screwdriver. Like. Goodbye. We'll never forget all you've done here today. Have fun on the rest of your adventures. I'm even more confused than usual. It's last year's version of Max. Hey, future me. I've got we'll a probably question. do immediately take Go out ahead. the mob. Uh, what are we doing here again? Eh, you don't, don't worry about we're it. Going to stand out of our way and play the quiet game. <laughs> we'll take the case. <laughs> All right, so now I can give the recording contract to the mariachi. Here you go, Captain. Your ticket to musical stardom. I value on the recording contract. Now I can ditch this dead weight and become the international <clears throat> Yeah, you can, buddy. A mariachi superstar. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, no, senor. Mariachi music is old news. I'm going to sing songs about... Trains. Yeah. Let's don't, uh, I haven't really here, figured buddy? out what to do with this one yet. Quiet, senor. Did What's up, buddy? Say... Uh, it's not birthday. <clears throat> oh, no. False alarm. You listen for birthdays? You spend all your time listening for people to say birthday. Okay. Did someone say birthday? Yeah, Sam just said birthday. Please, senors, my job is very important. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This must be the most boring job ever. <clears throat> Don't you ever get a break? <laughs> he wrote the train Bye. song, oh, Selfie yeah, Sings. Hey, me Ooh, let's see you in action. Sound neat. Let's see you in action. Don't be silly, senor. I can't just go and sing for no reason. Come on, there's got to be yeah. tons of birthdays going on. See, si, but we've already sung for all of those. Ah, oh. we can only do it once. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Hey, Max, what happens <clears throat> on April 22nd? Hmm, I think that's Earth Day. Okay. <laughs> Showtime, people. Attention. Wait, you make the joke on me, huh? Pretty snacky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> what do Australians celebrate on June 11th every year? Hmm, by any chance, would that be Perth Day? Did someone say, got me again? I sure did. Max, want to go watch Pride and Prejudice <clears throat> and all the Bridget Jones Diary movies back to back? You know it, girlfriend. It'll be our Colin Firth Day. <laughs> Did someone say, hold your guys. That one was terrible. Someone all right. Okay. 
the we have to... dog said goodbye. So, uh, I have to get there to be a birthday somewhere. Okay. Remember, right, the birthday's a little bit... <clears throat> Esoteric? Alright, let's tell this guy that he's going to die from ink ribbon fumes. You don't seem like a bad guy, Pedro. I told at least and. Okay, um... Adios. Right, I got the obituary. Let's show him Good it. news, senor. We found the gruesome details yeah. of your horrible demise. Fuck him up. Oi, what a stupid way to die. Sure yeah, is. I can think of stupider ways. Yeah, and also that. Kind of makes you want to quit your job, huh? Oh, no. There are still so many big questions I want answered. That's but fair. But screw that stupid printer. Can I take that ink ribbon? <clears throat> yeah, all right. Let's take that ink ribbon. I mean, it's got to be in the past for us to, uh... Nobody's gonna need this worthless <clears throat> ink ribbon. Yeah. Hey, you can just throw <clears throat> little yeah, I can. time vortex. Yeah, Sam. Somewhere a time-traveling American <laughs> is crying. Sure is. When? At the rate we're going, can we be traced? Last month at the castle in Germany. Yeah, we did pick that up. All right, so now that there's no ink, I think we can now do shenanigans. We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing <clears throat> idol. It's blank. Because there's no ink, it's now so blank. Long. So this is how we get the, uh, the one for the beginning of time. So let's put that in I'm there. Let's head to the beginning of time. Just look at it, Me? Max. We're in the void. What am I looking at exactly? The void, the void, the void. Everything. Our entire universe, before the creation of matter and energy <clears throat> and quantum particles or something, it's at this spot that everything you know, or will ever know, will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, hey, hi. H hi. Love singularity. That's the singularity from which the entire universe is going to spring in a mind-bendingly tremendous cataclysm. Neat. Hey, Mr. Feverly, what are you doing here at the Mr. beginning of time? Feverly? Sam and Max? Hi. What are you here? Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? That one. Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. How did you How's get here? here? I was filming the climactic volcanic oh. eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the Oops. motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. Sure, 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 sure. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance, <laughs> I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Oh, a jerk! Oh, that old story. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown <laughs> We weren't movie? contracted, uh, goddamn. Yes, well, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a hey. different direction. Oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. Nice weather. How do you like it here around the Singularity? I thought dinner theater in Ocala, Florida was dull. But that was nothing compared to, well, nothing. That's, that's fair. Being here at the start of it all can't be all bad. Well, I will give it one thing. The acoustics are outstanding! <laughs> <laughs> come with us. Why don't you come with us, Mr. Featherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, oh, Sam and Max. I can't let you do that, Star that Fox? chicken is the source of all life oh. in the universe. Oops. Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. Well, that's a shame. Catastrophic temporal paradox! <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. Hmm. Apparently, I am. <laughs> and there's the rub. That's that's fair. All right, Zero, well, Mr. Featherly. Probably not, Sam. Since <clears throat> he'll be long dead before we're even born. True. Oh, right true. Then. Hang loose, Philo. Well, what if we replace him You've with been an doing egg? A good job, Mr. Featherly. But we decided to cast someone younger. 
Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait, what are you doing? Put me down at once. Suck it up, brotherly. <laughs> it only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. <laughs> Curse you, Max Slam and him in, in the suit. Check ass. Just put that chicken in there. All right, time, time to leave Mr. Featherly. Let's go home. All right, let's uh, go in here. And I guess let's show him Mr. Featherly, the source of Put all me life. Down at once. Nah. Not yet, Mr. Featherly. Wait, what? where are you going? <laughs> I was curious. All right, show him to the old mariachi. Dear God, man, do you ever wash that coat? Nope. con el pollo? He's from before time began. Sure. Yeah. Turns out the chicken came first. Hmm. It makes no sense. If that's the chicken, what's there and now? Egg. Well, we left an egg. Likely story. I'll have to see that egg. But, 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 I'm just kidding. Boy, you <laughs> people are so gullible. Wait, 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 no! Don't put me back in there! Any more questions about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was <clears> the <throat> big one. All right. Vaya con Dios, Maxi Sam. I believe we still can't actually do anything here because we have to get rid of the other. Attempting sole delivery. Override from Com Officer Pedro. Yes. To sue. Yep. We have to. Uh, we have to get rid of all three of them. That guy's listening out for birthdays. Um. The carbon dater is a carbon birth dater, the old guy said. So I didn't even look at the time cards. Um, so Super Bowl is the 6th of September. Or Boss has the 17th. Ah, uh, that's like yeah, can you pass it? That was actually the date to get the spit. Um and three three twenty-five ten. Yes, yeah, Super Bowls the oh god, what was on the calendar? And in the first game we changed the date. Um I'm trying to remember if it was if it's uh Is September on the calendar? Can we make it Super Bowl's birthday? I'm finally getting the hang of this time travel stuff. Let us change the course of time without fear or confusion. Sounds right. All right, so I think Let's we can now... Yeah, day. it's not letting us change it, so I think we can change it to... The official date has been changed. So it is written, so it shall be. Yeah, so... I Changed it. Now is today hey, your Super birthday. Ball. What day is it today? It's the sixth of September, sir. It's my birthday. Yeah, there we go. I said it's my birthday. Sorry, I'm late, amigos. Did someone say birthday? Oh, Super Bowl is dancing. But, uh... Off we go! Wait up, guys! I'll be there in just a minute! Nah, we're off. Bye-bye! Oh, no! And we have stranded Gracias a mariachi... Sun, this has been the best birthday ever. ...in time. Alright, thanks, Super Bowl! So with that, that's all the mariachis gone. So now we can mess with the machine. Woohoo! Now the spaceship 
life is ours to command. Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome. Our mission, to hug Caligula. Stop goofing off, Max. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What? What's happening? I don't want to go! Oops. Whoops. Whoops. Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Check this out, Max. A thousand years spent shivering in Antutia. You stopped time! Neat! <laughs> now make it go backwards. Ration. Ow! That's the best I can do, pal. Okay, so I think something like that. Alright. Over here. Ava. <laughs> Alright, let's extend that bridge. We need to get over there. Soul crushing area. Please acknowledge. We got rid of them all. Just make with the bridge already. All right, all right. <laughs> bridge. Stand that bridge. Uh oh. Hola. Hi. Max. You don't know us, but we are time traveling mariachis. Hi. It's a warning from the future. Uh oh. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bridge uh -oh. extended. Uh oh. Foreign body and time vortex. Uh oh. Sequence engaged. Madre de Dios! Let's get out of here! We could cover some more birthdays. Okay, Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, you take the statue-loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Max. <laughs> Pass, we're going to do all the birthdays we've seen previously. Although we did miss one birthday. We missed the bog in the diner. Well, I guess we're now at the beginning. Setting course for yep. the beginning of the universe. Whee! So we're the Big Bang, hell yeah! Total destruction imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Well, this is going so great. Sam, is now a good time to start pulling my hair out and wetting myself in panic? Sure Don't is. Out, Better hurry though. Well. Poor Bosco. The horror of time traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. Sure was. No, we can't reach the portal from here. Hmm, okay, okay. Yeah. Hmm. The soul vacuum is only strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They can make a time traveling spaceship, <laughs> but they can't invent an interdimensional portal that doesn't lose suction. Um... So I say, no, I'm not going to okay. start an earthquake, okay. and he's. Yeah, okay, got it, but we're not going to be able to do this and then walk away with. Finger. Whatever, and I'm all. What does that mean? Well, that's the kind of fun that doesn't last. Do you have tar cake? Yeah, so no, I'm not going to start an earthquake, and he's. <clears throat> Alright, now we can hopefully. Climb up the corpse into the uh Approaching beginning of the universe. Into the into the Bermuda Triangle. Go, little buddy. It's <clears throat> now or never. Where do you think this portal goes? Anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. Alright, Sam. If this doesn't work, I'll see you in hell! Yeah, you will. <clears throat> oh, yep, crap Bosco. You might need that body. <clears throat> All right, and we end on a cliffhanger. <clears throat> so I wonder where that portal goes. <clears throat> I do like the time travel <clears throat> in this episode. I mean, it's for some very interesting puzzles. <clears throat> I think the one that's kind of hardest to realize is the carbon dater is a, a is a birth dater. <clears throat> so that that's how you get the birthday for the listening one. <clears throat> it can also be like easy to not realize you should use the carbon data on people in order to get the cards. I feel that's uh, that was a big stopping part when I first played this was not realizing 
I had to use the carbon data on people. Like, that didn't occur to me. Yeah, hopefully the Moai heads and alternate Sam and Max. I mean, they're, yeah, they were the alternate Sam and Max. We're, we're still in there. Hopefully they're fine. <clears throat> Hope they didn't die. Alright, well, next time we find out where the portal went to, and that's the final episode of Sam Max Season 2 Reimagined. I enjoy playing through these again. I do, even four years later, remember most of the puzzle stuff. I think the puzzles are pretty memorable in this game, um, so it can be easy to sort of remember details about them. I, I don't think they've, they've done a good job remastering them. So very funny. Mr. Spatula! Alright, we're gonna get a post credit sequence or are we just being left? Oh, here we go. You collide with that singularity. Yeah! Woo! And thus, Sam and Max created the universe. Alright, well, we'll be back tomorrow. I, we have not decided what we're going to be back tomorrow with. We finished as much as we want to do of Croc. <laughs> uh, and I don't think we've actually uh, landed on what we want to do after Croc. I don't think. I'm trying to remember what we said like two weeks ago. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, so join us tomorrow uh, evening for the something. We'll, we'll be doing something. Alright, well, see you guys tomorrow and the last episode of this next week. Bye, everyone!